断じて許さんぞーしよお任せを。Top 10 animes like how a realist hero rebuilt a kingdom. Realist hero is quite an intriguing anime. It tells us the story of a man who is brought to another world for the sake of becoming its hero. But instead of just overpowering his way through his new life, he starts redeveloping the nation's economy and puts into place proper administration. An interesting anime, right? Well, here we'll be having a look at 10 animes that are similar to Realist Hero. Of course, the similarities are limited because each of these anime series have their own. Distinctive premise, but the idea of doing things other than fighting remains the same. Well, then, how about we dive right into it? <laughs> number 10. Troyoyu High School Prodigies Have It Easy Even in Another World. At number 10, we have high school prodigies. Who have it easy in another world? The story is just like the title implies. There are seven high school students whose talents and capabilities have attracted international attention. They were all on a plane, which somehow crashed, and the next thing they knew, they were in a medieval fantasy world. Just like Realist Hero, these seven teenagers use their intellectual capabilities to lead the people and tackle their politics. Well, that's definitely one way to be a hero, but then we have this hero who quits hero wing. I don't know, guys. Is Is that an actual word? Number 9. I'm quitting heroing. Whatever. At number 9, we have I'm quitting heroing. The story of a hero who was so powerful, he basically just steamrolled the entire demon army without needing anyone's help. He did it all alone. And because his powers w a s this strong, humans suddenly got overly wary of him. So much so that the king had no choice but to exile him. Now, without a job or a place to call home, he wanders through the lands until he overhears that the demon army is recruiting. Believe it or not, he shows. Shows up in the front door of the Demon Queen and her four generals with his resume. Now, that's an interesting development, but how about when the hero miserably falls for the Demon Queen? <laughs> At number 8, we have Mayu, Ark, Enemy, and Hero. The war between humans and demons had been going on for quite a while. The hero was getting tired of all of this, and so he decides to leave his companions behind and go confront the queen all by himself. He was out for blood, and looks like all that blood went straight into his heart when he saw the unparalleled beauty of the queen. Not to mention, she actually wants his help to find another way than this war. She wants to rebuild the economy. And the politics of this world. Although he might have been skeptical, he joins hands with the queen to make their world a better place. <laughs> Moving on, we have Gate at number 7, an anime that features a 33 year old army officer as the protagonist. He is also a big otaku, by the way. One day, he was about to enjoy an otaku convention when a mysterious gate appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly, chaos everywhere. People are getting killed by fantastical creatures. The situation is resolved thanks to his help, but some time later, Japan sends a special force inside the gate to go and see if there is a way to get an understanding with those on the other side. Magic, fighting, and cute girls aside, this anime has a heavy focus on geopolitics. <laughs>
Number six. Next up, we have Log Horizon. What makes it so similar to Realist Hero is the intellect and composure of the protagonist. Basically, what happens is that 30,000 players of a game called Elder Tale suddenly find themselves in the world of the game. They cannot log out, and so it's time to discover ways to survive. The protagonist named Shiroi is a veteran of this game, and he also has a good head on his shoulders. He is accompanied by his friends as they set out to explore this game world. And while it is a game world, the focus on negotiations and politics is still the same as Realist Hero. <laughs> Looks like we're halfway through the list, guys, and the anime we have at number 5 is Dr. Stone. A story that takes place in a world where humanity was completely petrified. They stay as stones for several thousand years until one day when a young man named Senku wakes up once again. He is a man of science who uses his knowledge and intellectual skills to deploy the foundation of science once again in a world that has reverted back to the Stone Age. It's really inspiring as well, and the same goes for the anime up next. Sitting at number 4, we have Ascendance of a Bookworm. A girl who couldn't realize her dream of becoming a librarian in the modern world was reincarnated into a medieval kingdom after her abrupt death. She doesn't like the sheer lack of books and decides to do something about it. And it isn't just a library that she'll be baking. She'll also use her knowledge of the modern world to address the political and economical issues of this kingdom. Using the power of books and knowledge, she is about to change this world. Alright, now that we're down to just three animes, it's time to talk about the big ones. That time I got reincarnated as a slime is what we have at number three. A corporate worker without a girlfriend ends up dying whilst trying to save his friend's girlfriend from a random assailant. As the title goes, he is then reincarnated as a slime. From there on out, as he learns more and more about his abilities as well as the new world, he begins to develop his own nation. Politics, negotiations are just as important as fighting. The same goes for what we have at number two. Come Overlord is an anime where the protagonist ends up getting locked into what is supposedly the game he always used to play, but as was in the game, he is the ruler of a kingdom that'll soon reign supreme over the new world. Yes, he and his subordinates are overpowered, but he is out to make his kingdom a better place with the gold of world domination in sight. War, politics, propaganda, manipulation, and whatnot, there is a reason why Overlord is the face of Isekai anime. It's simply too thorough with its approach. Ordinarily, it would have been number one, but since this list is about animes that are similar to Realist Hero, we have another title that is even more similar than Overlord. <laughs> The Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. 
Other than the fact that the realist hero was reincarnated from the modern world, these two animes are mostly the same. There are cute and beautiful girls, a kingdom that needs saving, and a protagonist who has the required brain cells to get this job done. This anime is a little bit more comical than realist hero though, but at the very core, they are both about rebuilding a kingdom from the ground up. And with that said guys, these were my picks for the top 10 animes like how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. If you have any other similar animes in mind, feel free to share them with the rest of us. As for this video, what did you guys think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe for free cookies. And if these recommendations struck a chord with you, that super thanks button is always ready to be presented at any moment now. Any and all support is always appreciated. Well then, I'll see you guys on my next video.